All right, so we're going to go the old tried, true, tri tested, or whatever that is. So uh, I, a guy did leave a comment uh, today. I, I feel sort of bad because I, I said, yeah, that's, he said, I, I, I hope this isn't personal. And I was like, well, if you think it's personal, then why, why would you ask? Yeah. But so anyway, he apologized, and I'm apologizing back to him because I'm going to ask you, you said you would answer the question, uh, which was, uh, were you aware of, you know, like Patty seemed to be like the white elephant in the in the room, and you know, did was it uncomfortable for you to be with George, knowing that these, you know, Patty no. and Eric were no, you know, because that wasn't a part of uh, our relationship, and uh, of course we didn't. Nobody talked about it. It was like that thing everybody knew about it, but nobody talked about it. Right. You know, and so. If nobody's talking about it and everybody knows about it, then what's there <laughs> to make you uncomfortable? You right. know, and if they're all right with that, that's none of my business at all. You know, it wasn't in, and it wasn't, in, and it's not now. You know. Well, and at the time, I don't think anybody was very saintly. It seemed like everybody was sleeping with everybody, except me. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did everything I could <laughs> trying to get grab a gal for him. No, not, yeah, well, anyway. Okay. <laughs> it didn't work out. Oh, hell no. I mean, you know. And, and the, the other part of this man's question was, uh, he th he think, seems to think that uh, Thorn Tree in the Garden had something to do with Patty and, and Eric. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> that was about my little dog. That got lost and uh, had absolutely nothing to do with anybody at all. It had to do with my dog, you know. And I, I said, if I never hold her hand again, I never see her face again, never hold her hand. I couldn't have very well said, if I never see her face again, never hold her paw. You know, that wouldn't have gone over very big in a, <laughs> you know. Right. But uh, it was a, a, about a female, you know, a loss of, of a female companion. And she was the only companion I had. The only love that I shared was my, my little dog. And so, you know, that's really what it was about. And I still feel that love. I, I, I have that very same thing, that very feeling for those two dogs right there. Right. You know, love is love is love for you. I, I, I have the, this deep love that I can't explain it. You know, if I could explain it, you know, one thing you would know, that, that wouldn't be it. You know, love is forever. Love is self-sustaining, you know. Uh, love is abundant if you open up your heart, you know. And my heart has always been open. It's been broken and open and broken and open and broken and open. And it's still open, you know. Uh, it still gets broken. And that's all right. Because that's a part of life. I feel it. I'm living my life and I'm feeling all of my emotions. And, you know, uh, and I'm glad that love is the strongest emotion that I have. Right. So, uh, I just, my mind just went that blank. Was it. That was very this, good. Now we fade away? No. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> I was going to say also, uh, there was this, there, there's this huge thing that goes on around, around that story and, and Layla and all, all this mystique. No, hell no. It's, a, it's more mystique than the reality, you know? Because unfortunately that the, the, the proposal and the marriage thing, that was all, that was, that all. was a bet. <laughs> she got, they got married out of, off a bet. Roger Forrester bet Eric Clapton. He said, "I bet I, I bet you that I can have. I, I think it was like fifty pounds or something. <laughs> Not 50. That's the the magic number, you know, uh, fifty pounds to. Uh, I bet you I'll have your your name on the front page of every newspaper in the world by Monday." And Clapton, oh yeah, right. I'll take that bet. <laughs> he said that, and then Roger said, "Eric Clapton and Patty Bo uh, Patty Boyd to be wed." Blah blah blah. <laughs> And so, man, it was like, suddenly he had to scramble and ask her to marry him. You it know? was in her book. It was in her book. She yeah, I'm not that. talking to anything that's out, out of school. <laughs> when, uh, you, you, when you first told me 
Now, excuse me, when you first told me the story, I was like horrified. And I thought she didn't know, but apparently she knew. Of course. And uh, it, was, it was all about a bet, you know. And it, it, it went downhill. You know, that whole thing went downhill. You know, you know, she's not around anymore with him. She's happily married to some guy. And they live in her house in Devon. Mm. I think. I don't know. Well, anyway, thank you for, for answering the question. Again, I apologize to the gentleman who have written the comment. and he, I, I know he's trying to be really nice. I'm not, yeah, I and sincere. To, I understand. Yeah. But you don't know what you don't know until you do, and now you do. Right, well. You know, there was okay. more to that whole thing than... Uh, well, I was going to I mean, say, you know, Eric was Eric was in love with every woman that walked through his door, and a lot of women walked through his door. You know, it seemed like George was in love with a lot of women that he saw as well. Seemed like that, you know. I'll hear about that later, you know. I mean, but, they, uh, they, I never I, witnessed any of that. You know? They always get down on Eric, but George was about as guilty as Eric was, wasn't he? Was like, I <laughs> guess everybody was stuff. doing that, like you know. I mean. Uh, I won't even go there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, those were the days when everybody was. It was like back loose. during yeah at that time when all that stuff you know seemed to be prevalent. You know, right? Sex and drugs. I was the youngest. Sex and drugs and rock and roll. Yeah. yeah, but I was the youngest in every situation I was ever in. And when I mean the youngest, I mean like big difference, three, four, five years younger than everybody. And so that's a lot when when you're the youngest, you know. They're all doing that adult thing. And, <laughs> you know, I'm just coming out of my teenage goof. I still had pimples and stuff, you know. <laughs> you know, I'd get a big pimple on my nose if I got a little bit nervous, you know. But <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, you know, so I, I'm, I didn't have a beard. You know, I had like sprigs. <laughs> I had a big hole over here, the size of a quarter, and it never filled in for years and years and years. Yeah, I couldn't grow a beard oh, for a long you, time. It could grow, grow hair. <laughs> it's a manly thing, you know, that beard business. And then you do it to after you get older, you know, to hide the wrinkles, hide all them <laughs> damn road scars, you know. <laughs> yeah, I got them too. And uh, look, my face looks like Willie Nelson without a beard. No. <laughs> no. Anyway, you know, no, I'm I'm all right with it. I, I shaved it all off once just to check it out, and I figured I better grow it on back out again. You know. <laughs> oh, you look great, no matter what. Oh, well, thank you, sweetheart. <laughs>